do my second garden update for the year 2020. Um, okay, so I planted a little bit differently this year only because I noticed that I still have a ton of tomato product on my shelf. So I'm going to have less tomatoes. I'm going to have less green beans because I still have a ton of green beans on the shelf. So I really want to focus on the things that I don't have. And I showed you that I planted one whole bed is nothing but greens. And I'm going to continue that process. But I want to take you out here. I got all my stuff in the ground. Our forecast for the next couple of weeks, we're not going to dip down into any freezing temperatures. So I'm taking my chances and I put my tomatoes and peppers, hardened them off, and now they're in everything. Um, I still have some uh, tubs that I need to clean out and I'll probably get that done here this week and get some fresh herbs planted as well as um, maybe some other stuff. Anyway, I'll turn you around and I'll show we'll you start over here. So I did go ahead and in this barrel I planted red onions. So these should be coming up. You can see the remnants of one that's stuck in there. Get that, get down in there. Anyways, so red onion sets in here. In a big oblong circle, I planted radish seeds. They haven't popped up yet. That was just two days ago. These are tomato plants. So I've got a champion. Um, what is this? A uh, big boy. Um, these are the... Oregon Spring. I really want some more of those. I'm hoping that's an Oregon Spring too. The tag is missing. And in this wine barrel I have, and they're coming up, these are yellow onions. I've got two or three of them have already popped up. Shotzi would like to play Panda Baby. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not playing. I'm busy. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, the chard is doing really, really well. Although... I think this one is trying to go to seed. So the chard and the um, romaine lettuce, uh, celery and parsley, love it. And dill, I need um, some cilantro even though it'll bolt on me. Um, the romaine's doing okay, it'll pop back. And I planted all my peppers down there. Those are all serrano. And uh, what's the other one? a ancho chili. I've got two ancho chilies and the rest are serrano peppers. Those are perfect for what I want. These are the Silas tomatoes and uh, Silas, the small tomatoes but really early producers. Another big boy. Hey, get that out of there. And Silas, anyway, so a total of seven tomato plants. Which if you've followed me for any length of time, you know that, uh, I usually have three times that many. All right, so over here I've got my Swiss chard, my uh, Chinese cabbage, and my spinach. And it's not gonna be that long. Give it a couple weeks and I will be picking some more. Um, I'll actually be picking some Swiss chard for um, tonight because I, I'm gonna saute some and put it in a rice dish. Okay, down here, and this is why I'm doing the video now, because I am going to pick rhubarb today. So rhubarb is going in the house. I've got plenty on here to pick. So I've got rhubarb stalks that are beautiful. Um, I planted, that's a Swiss chard. And the Swiss chard from last year. And I planted some bush beans out here. So I'm going to go ahead and water um, and, and some here in the front. I'm going to go ahead and get that watered and we're going to go in the house and, uh, yes, I hope this inspires you to huh, maybe try your hand at a little raised bed gardening. You can do it in containers, raised beds. I definitely want two more, one there, one there, and I'd like two more large ones here on either side there with just pathways through them. I gotta keep working on it. <laughs> oh, I truly hope it inspires you to uh, try your hand at a little gardening this year. Um, with the circumstances the way they are, it's just gonna be better to have as much right there at your fingertips. And you can do a lot of gardening in a small space. It doesn't take a huge lot. You can actually do it right off your patio. So, all right guys, 
I'll see you next time for another garden update and or a delicious recipe. I'm headed in the house to uh, get that rhubarb cut up and I'm gonna go ahead and make a big batch of split pea and ham to throw in the canner, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.